Waka waka waka. Waka waka waka. Sorry guys, I had to do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. Today, I will be reviewing the new Wet n Wild and Pac-Man collection. This is probably one of the most creative and cutest packages I've ever got. You guys ready? Look how cute! Oh my god, I just saw the eyes. I just saw the eyes, it's so cute. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. It is, of course, a limited edition. I will reveal the box right now. So on the first layer, we have the lip scrub, the lip balm, high score blush palette, game over eyeshadow palette. Honestly, I've never seen bright colors in wet and wild shadows before, so I'm really excited to try this. We have a bronzer, we have a blush lighter, we have four glosses. Look how cute the glosses are. Nail polishes, they're matching with the glosses. Oh my god, the brushes say waka 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 waka. We have a powder brush. Look how cute. And we also have an eyeshadow brush, and these are the nail polishes. I'm gonna start with the lip scrub. It's like a little apple. The lip scrub retails for $4.99. It smells like green apples. Oh, so good. Is it edible? It kind of is. Because if you guys watched my other video with the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection, that scrub was not edible. The taste was just Ugh. I think they did something with the formula, but this one is way better. I kind of like how it feels. Oh yeah, way better than the Rebel Rose Collection scrub. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel dry, it feels kind of smooth. So, yeah, that is a go for me. Then I'm gonna move on to the lip balm. If I can open it, I will review the product. Thank you. And this also retails for $4.99. This is supposed to be cherry flavored. Yep, immediately got that scent. Normally, I don't go for cherry flavors because it's sometimes it's too strong for me, but this is like kind of like a berry cherry, so it's not cherry berry, berry cherry, cherry berry. Yeah, so it's not super like overwhelming cherry. It's just the right amount. As always, I'm going to start with the eye. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Look how cute. When you open it up, the Pac-Man characters are engraved in the pan. They did a really good job with the packaging. So here are the swatches of the palette on my chest as always. I'm definitely making this a thing. Chest swatches just show everything much better. And yeah, that's what they look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with Anastasia Eye Primer. I've been using that a lot, actually more than the P. Louise one. So I'm gonna take this purple on my Morphe M506 brush. I'm just gonna try to pack it on before I do any- ooh! Okay, pigment! I was not expecting this at all. Oh my gosh! And from a purple at that. I always say it's really hard to find a good purple. They're really hard to formulate, you know? Now that the color is on, I'm just going to diffuse it with the brush that I applied it with. I'm going to move on to this cute little salmon color right here and just going to place it right on the edges of the purple. And to blend the two colors, I'm going to pick up some of this pink. Again, I'm going to diffuse orange within itself. Honestly, I'm kind of shook at how easy these are to blend, especially for bright colors. I've never had a drugstore brand bright colored palette that had colors that work like these. Like, they blend really easily. And last but not the least, I'm adding the man himself right up the very top. I'm adding a little bit of Pac-Man to blend everything out. This is going to be the last transition color. So the yellow is a little powdery. When I work, try to work with it, there's a lot of kickback so it is kind of dry let's see how it blends out and with colors like this i just like to pack it on and then get to blending because otherwise it loses its pigment i'm just going to blend it with the brush that i use for the orange so I'm going to use translucent powder on the very edges of the look, right under my brow bone. 
and on my inner brow bone. This way the blend is way smoother. I'm just going to blend the yellow. Now that everything is blended, purple lost a little bit of opacity, so I'm just going to go back to the purple and just going to define the purple a little more. I'm doing very light strokes because with colors like this, you just want to tend very gently. See the difference it makes? Just going over it once more just brings everything back. Next on the day my crease, I'm going to use this blue. And I'm doing a halo cut crease, so this is going to be on my inner and outer corner as well. And just slightly going to blend the edges. When I look at it up close, I'm noticing that the blue is really dry and it is kind of patchy on the purple. So it's like patchy purple, patchy blue. It's just they're not mixing and blending together for some reason. The only colors that have fallout on my face are the purple and the blue. Other than that, nothing seems to be like on my face. Like the yellow, the orange, the pink, they don't have any fallout. I'm going to put a little bit of micellar water on my brush and clean up the area where I'm going to do the halo eye. This helps with a clean application so much. I'm just gonna cut my crease using the same Anastasia primer. And just gonna blend the edges. So now that I cut my crease, I'm actually gonna use the eyeshadow brush that came with the set. And this retails for $7.99. I'm going to place blue right on the outer and inner corners of the crease. Ooh, actually the brush feels so fluffy. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm actually adding a little purple on the corners of the look just to connect it to the outer corner. In the very middle, I'm going to be using the light teal shade. And I'm blending this towards the edges. And in the very middle, I'm going to be using this really cute shimmer shade that is calling my name. It's full of glitter and it's perfect. I like to spray my brush when I'm using a shimmer shade with a little bit of setting spray. This is definitely a shade that you need to use a setting spray with. It will fall off all over your face. I'm slowly going to bring the shimmer down all over the teal and to blend it all over the spotlight eye. Since there isn't an actual bronzer in the set, I'm going to use my own Fenty bronzer and I'm gonna use the powder brush that it came with. Ooh, it's very fluffy and really soft. By the way, I've been taking up my bronzer really high. It kind of changed everything. It changed how my face looks and I really like how it gives like a lift to your face when you apply it higher. So I've really been liking the all over warmth look instead of like harsh contour. It just, you know, just brings everything together. It makes everything look way softer than harsh contour lines. I'm not saying I don't contour at all. I don't do it super contoury if that makes sense. Next, I have the blush palette that retails for $9.99. It has little scores on it. They really did that with this collection. I like it's the packaging is so cute that you almost don't want to use anything. I really like this apricot shade. I think I'm gonna go in with that for blush. Let's just use the same brush. I think the blush is really pigmented, so I'm just going to start with little and then build my way up from there. I kind of been going over my nose with whatever is left on the brush. Have you ever seen anything like this in a drugstore packaging? It's in Insane. So the first one is a blush lighter. This one retails for $6.99. It comes with little pellets like these. It just added to that, you know, innocent blushed look. This is a bronzer and it has pellets as well. So you know it's going to be shimmery. For like shimmery bronzer, I like to use it on my forehead to, you know, just give it an all over glow, but not necessarily over here. Oh my God, it's so pigmented. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Okay, 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 hold on, okay, 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 hold on. Let's just blend that. Do you see how like shimmery it is? It's almost like a highlight. So if you have a deeper complexion, this will look amazing as like a highlight. I would just use it like that. 
I'm just gonna put a little mascara and some lashes on and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna swatch the glosses for you guys and these retail for $5.99. They are so cute. We have four colors and I'm going to start from the lightest shade. This is called Clyde. So this is Clyde. I will use this on top of something else because by itself it's not like super pigmented. If you want like a flush of color, that's it. It's not super high shine or anything like that. Next one is called Pinky. Okay, so this definitely has better pigment. This is Pinky. Next one is called Blinky. Oh. You see what I'm talking about? Now this has pigment. This is Blinky. Last but not the least, I have Inky. This one definitely needs a couple more layers because it is very patchy and I don't see like a huge pigment situation and the opacity is not great. I expected a lot from this shade. Yeah, it didn't live up to my expectations. It is very patchy and yeah, nope didn't work for me so I'm gonna use pinky for this look because that's my favorite one and the pigmentation and opacity was great so I am back I add a little cute Pac-Man right here and little ghosts the look is done and completed let's talk about the products by the way i forgot to tell you guys entire box retails for 69.99 the blue was really dry so it was really hard to make it stick to the base even though i had a very sticky base and i didn't set it with powder the yellow was not like the brightest yellow the orange was great pink was eh but the shimmer shades are amazing like it's incredible i didn't add any glitter or anything like that i also added that little shimmery orange right there and it's cute it's gorgeous glosses are not my favorite i do love like really glidey smooth super high shine glosses usually that's what i go for so these were not that but you know it's just a subtle flush of color the blue one didn't work for me at all other than the blue the, the colors worked good but they weren't what i'm used to so just want to keep it honest for you guys i'm not going to just tell you guys every product that i've used is amazing the blush was really cute i'm not gonna lie and even the blush lighter worked on me even though i was scared because i'm really fair i'm really light skinned it's not as intense as i thought it would be which is a good thing because i don't like super intense pebbles Sometimes they get too chalky and too, you know, powdery. I don't like that look, but this was just enough glow. So the brushes were definitely fluffy. They actually worked pretty well. This is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button right below. See you in the next video. Bye.